this is my tackle arsenal for fishing the Cape Cod Canal in 2021. I used other things during the year, but these were the baits that I spent most of my time throwing. I'll further preface this with uh, I typically jig at the canal. I view the canal much more to be a jigging game. You know, you don't have to wait for the breaking tides if you're jigging. You can basically fish all summer long. A lot of these baits are rigged for jigging and I fish them, you know, along the bottom pretty deep and I bounce them on the bottom when I can. We'll start with the ones that didn't work this year. So first of all, are these are the Tsunami Heavy Shads. Uh, six and a half inch, they're about four ounces. This is the pearl color and this is the, the bunker color. And I really like throwing these at the canal. I think they, they swim really well through the middle of the water column, but uh, no luck this year. And I had no luck on the sluggos this year. Uh, this is a seven inch sluggo in uh, white on a four ounce jig head. And then over here, this is an ALY colored uh, nine inch sluggo. Uh, I typically also rig these on jig heads, but you can also uh, rig them on hooks. And uh, no luck on those. Um, this is a Hoagie original in pink. I also fish this one kind of the same way where you can put them on jig heads. Uh, here's an example. This is just a, a kind of a generic four ounce jig head. So you can rig them, you know, like that. Um, or you can rig them different types of hooks, under, underweighted, you can rig them um, with smaller jig heads to fish different parts of the water column, but no luck on the hoagie either. Um, this is a Bill Hurley canal killer. I typically really like Bill Hurley canal killers. This is a white, again rigged on a roughly four ounce jig head. Um, I fish most of these baits on four to five ounce jig heads. I like the four better because I think it swims a little bit better, it doesn't get caught in the rocks as much. I usually fish these kind of in the middle of the day. Uh, no luck this year on this color. Uh, and then finally, this is a, a Hoagie uh, Pro Tail Paddle Tail, uh, six and a half inch. It's one of the five ounce ones, and I, I fish this at the canal typically at night. Uh, no success on it this year, but it's got a nice, nice strong hook. Uh, it does get beat up in the rocks a little bit. And uh, the five ounce ones, I, I think they're hard to find now. This is this is an older one, it's been around for a while, but no luck on this one. Um, this is, of course, the Savage Gear Sand Eel. Uh, this is a classic bait to use at the canal for jigging purposes, and I did not catch any fish on this this year. Uh, in fact, I had to stop using it this year because I had so many bite-offs on the tail. So this is a fish definitely want this bait, um, but I couldn't get them to bite the hook, and they get expensive if you keep losing tails. So onto the baits that I actually caught fish on. So I often don't use plugs at the canal. Uh, I prefer jigging at the canal. Um, you know there are times when plugs work um, best especially when the fish are higher up or breaking up on the surface. This is a Yozuri Hydro Mineral in Bone. It's a six and three quarter version. Uh, I did catch fish on this and I typically keep e either a, a Hydro Mineral or a bait you know, like this that swims kind of just below the surface uh, in my bag in case I encounter those conditions. I did catch fish on this, but n nothing to, to brag about. So this is a, another Bill Hurley canal killer. It's in a mackerel color. I did catch a very nice uh, striped bass on this one. And uh, you can kind of see how the front of it is, is fairly beat up. That's from bouncing it along the bottom of the canal and the rocks. Uh, in 2021, I think this caught my second biggest fish. And this is an Al Gags tail rigged up on a generic jig head. I had actually, I ran out of Al Gags jig heads and had to start using the generic ones, but uh, I like using the Al Gags, especially uh, this kind of green tinted mackerel color. Uh, this is another one, it's just slightly uh, different green tinted mackerel color. I really like using these early in the morning as the sun's rising. They really shine. They sparkle real well in the water and they, they work real well. So they, the Al Gags are solid baits. Uh, they, they hold up pretty well. You can see this one's kind of chewed at the top, but it's really in good shape still. So for this one, I ended up catching the biggest fish in 2021 on. Uh, it was easily over 20 pounds. It's 36 inches or so. So this is the 2021 winner of the Biggest Fish Award. If, if there was such an award. So that's just a short lure review for 2021. I hope it was helpful, gives you some idea of what worked for me and what didn't. 
Maybe it will help you in your tackle selection when you head to the canal. And thanks for watching.